Welcome back. You know, come sundown every Friday night, many Jewish families and friends sit down together to celebrate and break bed. It's the start of Shabbat, the Jewish Sabbath. Food writer Faith Kramer shares recipes from around the world in her new cookbook, 52 Shabbats, and she's sharing a perfect Passover dish. I guarantee you this isn't your grandmother's gefilte fish or the gefilte fish you find in the supermarket out of the jar. This is yes. a baked gefilte fish filled with tempting spices, North African flavors, and a smashed tomato topping. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. I'm glad to know that it's not like the gefilte fish in my friend's mom's cupboard in the jar. Well, the first thing to do is um, you can you can grate this by hand, but I used a food processor um, and it's it, we've got carrots, we've got um, bell pepper, onion, garlic, parsley, celery, and then I have a sneaky ingredient here, it's optional, but I like my food full of flavor and, and I like vibrant taste. So I've got a small jalapeno. Then we're gonna add some lemon juice and some grated lemon zest. And this helps temper the flavor of the fish and keeps the dish a little on the acid side, which I think works well. Mm -hmm. And then we have the pureed, uh, this is impureed, I'm sorry. It's very finely ground minced fish. Now you could do this by hand if you don't have a food processor. And it's, uh, this is cod, but you could use any firm white fish and that gets mixed in with this. And then we have the spices. And I, I, I just like looking at these spices. I don't know if everybody can see them, but we've got paprika, we've got cumin, we've got salt, we've got sugar, black pepper. We have dried oregano, and I like to use whole beef oregano that I crumble before I measure, and turmeric, so that goes in here. Mix that up, and then once it's all mixed, it goes into a grease baking pan, it bakes for 45 minutes, 55 minutes, 60 minutes, depends on the size of your pan, how deep it is and all that. And then once it's done, it bakes up like this. Oh, yum. And then this one's been baked before, so it's already reabsorbed all the, there'll be liquid on top, don't worry about it. It just reabsorbs it as it cools. And we'll keep that out because we'll need that in a bit. Next, we need to make the topping. You start with onions and garlic that you've sauteed in oil, mm -hmm. like this. And then you mix in um, different colored pepper strips and they're cut about a half inch by an inch, but you know, whatever works. And you're gonna cut them up like that. Then after they soften, you put, I like to use the mixed color cherry tomatoes. Don't cut them, they have to be whole because this is okay. a snack potato topping. Okay. That goes in there. And we have a spice mix here. We have um, paprika, salt, a little sugar, and some black pepper goes in here. And then this just cooks until the tomatoes are soft enough to smash. The key to smashing it is a nice strong metal spatula and you squish like that. And then the pan goes back on the medium fire until um, the um, tomatoes are really soft. And you can serve this um, hot or cold or room temperature on top of the gefilte fish like this. I just wanna ask you about the book. Tell us about 52 Shabbats and why did you wanna write this book and why the idea of Shabbat dinner is, is more, it's more about just not the food, but it's about family, right? It's about friends, family. It's about tradition. It's about history. It's about geography and politics, economics. Start with um, why I wanted to write the book. I have been a columnist for the J, a local Northern California Jewish newspaper for, for many years now. And I've just been studying Jewish food as I developed my recipes, trying to understand where food fits in. And Shabbat is the holiday that happens every week. And it just seems like this is a book that needed to be written. Modern recipes. I have classics in there that my readers have asked for again and again. In the context, why do we eat gefilte fish? Well, fish is symbolic of many things. It's considered an important part of holiday meals for a certain reason. Judaism is a home-based um, 
a home-based religion and it, it centers around the food. So at Hanukkah, we eat latkes to remember about the miracle of the oil last eight day. At Passover, we eat matzah to, to recognize the exodus and the unleavened bread. So there's, we do this all through the year and it, just the food is imbued with this symbolism and we kind of eat our prayers. Imbued with deliciousness too.